Welcome to the Rosny College Electronics series of videos. In this video I'll be looking at how to calculate the value of the LED dropping resistor. So in most simple, I'm going to draw a simple LED circuit here where we have a voltage which I'm going to say the source voltage or VS a resistor and here's my LED. So we're going to have a current flowing through this circuit here, assuming that this source voltage is greater than the conduction voltage for the for the diode here. So if you remember with the diodes, here is a graph of the voltage to the current characteristics of a diode and where it will not conduct as I increase the voltage until it reaches some minimum threshold then it starts to conduct more and more until it reaches some maximum voltage where the junction cannot drop any further than that and effectively the current isn't limited at all by that component so the, it runs away okay. this is an important concept here when calculating the value of the LED dropping resistor now we can simplify that model rather than having to think about what curves are doing. We can say, right, okay, increase the voltage to the forward voltage maximum, and that's the maximum that that LED will ever drop. Um, and after that, we need to control the current by other means, namely a dropping resistor. So in this circuit here, I'm going to assume that the forward voltage drop of a LED here is 2 volts. Okay. And if I look up the data sheet for it, I can find that. So if I have an LED, I can look it up its data sheet and see that okay, its forward voltage drop is 2 volts and its um, maximum rated current is equal to I'm going to choose 20 milliamps. Although quite often they rate them a bit lower than that. So let's make that 2 volts and 20 milliamps. So we've got a value for the voltage here, and we've got a value for the maximum current. Okay. And so if you remember, the what's called Kirchhoff's voltage law means that the loop voltage, or the loop voltage around my circuit has to equal zero, but it's easier to think of it as being if I look at the voltages on one side of a line. They have to equal the voltage or the sum of the voltages on the other side of the line. Or even more simply, my supply voltage must equal the sum of all the series voltages in that circuit. So if I have 2 volts across my LED, then I must have 2, well, whatever Vs is, has to add up to the voltage across my resistor plus the voltage across my LED. So if this was 9 volts, then this has to be 7 plus 2 is 9. Okay, so the resistor voltage must be 7 volts. So to generalize that a little bit, Vs minus V forward is equal to the voltage across my resistor, Vr. So Eg, 9 minus 2 equals 7. So the voltage across my resistor is 7 volts. Now I know the, the current through my resistor is 20 milliamps because the current through my resistor has to be the same as the current through the LED. So therefore, using Ohm's law, I can say that R equals V over I equals Vs minus V forward divided by I max. Okay, so this is a very general formula. So that's my battery or my supply voltage. That is my, so I'll take my LED forward voltage from that to get the resistor's voltage. Divide that by the current of, the maximum current that the LED can allow to give me the resistance. So to use my example here, R equals 
9 minus 2 divided by 0 0.02 is 20 milliamps is 0 0.020 amps equals 7 divided by 0 0.02 now I know that that's 350 ohms. So if this circuit were to be created, in order to limit the current to below 20 milliamps, I need to have a resistor that is 350 ohms. Now, I, if I had a larger resistor, then I'm going to have a smaller uh, current. Okay, so. Remember that the uh, voltage equals I times R. So if I, to keep the same voltage, if I make this one larger, I've got to make this one smaller in order to keep that equality. Okay, so I can say 350 ohms is the minimum minimum resistance required. So quite often you might need to take into account the tolerance of these resistor. Sorry, I'll the side. So 350 ohms is the minimum resistance required. And you might need to take into account the tolerance. Okay, so The tolerance is how accurate that resistor is made. Effectively, the range of resistances that may be within that resistor value, or the labelled value. If you need, you can look it up on one of my other videos on resistor tolerance. So that is how you calculate the value of the dropping resistor for an LED.